Hello, my name is John and I'm with Showflow. Showflow is a real-time live event production software uh, created to help uh, teams uh, create and execute uh, event rundowns, schedules, lists, uh, QDQs um, in real time. Uh, Showflow is used daily on events of all sizes, um, everything from small house of worship Sunday services to um, professional sports teams for managing in-game entertainment, uh, jumbotrons, you know, LED boards, stuff like that, and then also um, large, small, and very large, uh, you know, corporate meetings and events. Um, you know, with with live events comes constant changes, uh, and with those changes comes you know uh, a lot of different forms of communication, um, Excel version. Uh, emailing different version copies and stuff like that um, and really we've seen with teams that adapt that show flow workflow um, are going to see um, immediate improvements and time spent in building um, and collaborating and everything on the pre-production side and then also um, way more efficient on-site uh, running shows changing on the fly um, and different things like that Showflow is a cloud-based uh, application, which means that it's accessed, uh, you know, and, and run off of um, everything from a Mac to a PC. Also, you know, mobile, whether that's an iPhone, an Android, um, an iPad, or other tablets. Um, there's no download required, which means that it's really, um, really quick and easy to get your crew set up um, on Show site, um, and then that also, you know, you can very easily. Uh, import uh, files, Excel files that you've previously built or that a client has passed over. Um, and then also uh, you can still export all the data that you have in Showflow in either unformatted Excel files or uh, preformatted PDFs. Um, so really quick and easy to export and print uh, if needed. So what you're looking at right here is our team dashboard uh, in Showflow. And so we've got our team name, Showflow demo events, team logo, um, all of our upcoming events, um, and then this is where you're able to create either either new blank events, or you can actually still you can duplicate past events, or also duplicate any upcoming events, which is going to bring in um, all of the files and uh, data that you have inputted for previous or upcoming events. Uh, so if I jump into Q Creative, um, you can see this is now our we call this our event dashboard page. So you can manage, create and manage all of your other existing files uh, and documents, things like production schedules, uh, contact lists, breakout managers, uh, DSM preset lists, you know, general session, show, um, or even maybe scripts or stuff like that. So to create new shows or list schedules or lists, just click the create button. Um, you can also very easily import any of these through a CSV file. Um, or with docs, you can come in and actually upload um, any other existing documents that you need to share with your event team. Um, so I'm going to jump into our, oh, I'm actually just going to create a blank show. So if I click create show, come down here, you can choose from templates if you created templates. Um, but I'm just going to call this show A. You can give it a location, start date, start time, create show. Uh, and if I jump into that show, you can see we have our blank show right here. This is going to present a lot like Excel um, to table based. Um, but we've got all of our items on the left, your department columns on the right, really easy to come in and change um, department columns or add new ones. Um, in the same way of adding new department columns, you can come down here, add new items below to start creating new things. Um, it's very easy, intuitive to just double clicking in files or in cells to edit them. Um, what I'm going to do is actually do a little side by side just to show you some real time stuff. So I'm logged in as myself, John Alexander, and then I'm also logged in in this event as well as a different user, uh, Johnny Hollywood. And so if I come into this uh, show, you can see he's in the light theme. You can quickly jump back and forth between themes, but I'll keep it light theme for now. Um, so if I come in maybe and add, you know, walk in right here, you can see we've updated that in item 101 instantly. Um, maybe this is the Steve Jobs play on. Um, you can see as soon as I make that change, that's over here instantly in real time. Um, other things, you know, you've got your durations, your item durations and your start time. So I can adjust start time really easily. Um, come in, adjust the duration for an item. Um, we're going to auto calculate the uh, start time of the next item based off the duration that we set. 
So 10 minute start or 10 a.m. start time, four minute duration, uh, 10.04 start time for Steve Jobs play on. Um, same way if I come down here, maybe this is one minute, uh, you can see we've got a start time right here for item uh, for 10.05 a.m. Uh, this is what we call a title row. Title rows are easily converted back and forth to um, an item row. Um, title row is a great way to break things out uh, and vice versa. So also in here for some personalizations, you've got the ability to do private notes. Private notes are only seen by each user. So you can see over here, this user does not see my private note. Um, each user can also come in and hide and reorder uh, their columns how they would like. So I can come into maybe video, bring that all the way to the left, and then you can see we've got our own custom view. Maybe I can hide the audio column, hide lights, uh, and I'm kind of creating my own specific view for me. This user still has his own view. Um, you can also come in and do what we call global highlights and personal highlights, which are great for, you know, if you have video file or video, maybe a live aspect, and you want to create a global highlight for that, every user is going to see that um, instantly. Um, also, you can come in and do um, what we call personal highlights. So each user can come in and create a personal highlight for an item that might be important to them. So item 106, you can see we've got a yellow accent. This user doesn't see that um, at all. Um, also, you've got all types of um, font formatting you can do, um, you know, making font size bigger, bold, italicized, background or uh, font colors, background cell colors. You can also upload images um, very easily, either from your computer or um, uploaded from maybe the internet. You can just share a URL in there of an image and it will populate that as well. Um, you can also do links for maybe linking to a Dropbox or linking to a Spotify track. Really easy to insert links and also you can insert files directly from uh, docs. Um, the download section, this is where you export all the data. Um, so you can export in XLS, CSV, and then also PDF. Um, and then we've got tracking, show, color, or show activity feed. This is gonna show every user in here that is making changes, what changes they're making. And then if I've come in on a per cell basis, I can come in maybe um, for video. And if I do test and then maybe testing, uh, you can see if I jump into that, I can actually do a per cell change and I can see what I've been making changes on on a per cell basis. Um, so the other last thing to show you is show caller tracking. Um, so if I come over here, I can actually, uh, as a show caller permission, I can track an item, which is going to broadcast this blue bar across my screen. And then you can see this user is following along with me. He's following me, the show caller, John Alexander. And if I press space bar, I can actually advance through the show. And this user's screen is automatically scrolling. So space bar goes down one, shift space bar goes back. Um, and then I've also, when you track an item, you also start an item runtime clock. So you can see we've got an item runtime of uh, one minute counting down. Uh, as soon as that goes, if that goes over one minute, it's gonna turn red and start counting up. Um, so that's just a few things. Uh, there's a lot in here, a lot more in here. Uh, we're happy to do more in-depth walkthroughs. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, and thanks for watching.